What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkeffects.net, and we are once again inside of Adobe Animate CC with our lesson number two, and we're going to continue with our text animation lesson. So let's go ahead and click on HTML5 Canvas, and we want to click on our text tool. So let's go ahead and click here, do a D, A, R, and K. Come over here and choose our black selection tool. Let's go ahead and line up our letters and select them all let's drag them to about center right click on this one go down to convert symbol do this one as a k do our next one f8 r next one f8 a and then our last letter sometimes it will not select it and there it goes you just got to keep on going back and forth until it actually selects it hit the f8 and then choose this as d Select them all, right click, go down to distribute to layers, click on timeline, you just simply right click and delete layer and not have to worry about that one. Then come over here and select them for right click, insert frame, then go to insert motion tween. Okay, so what we want to do now is that we want to select this one, drag up, right click, and choose insert keyframe all. What this is going to do is that it's going to actually keep the same location that you are at right now or the same position that you are at at this moment let's come all the way here to the beginning let's select all of our text drag it off to the side what we're going to do here is that we're going to actually copy the properties of our very first one here so and then we're going to paste it over here so you select it right click on it and then choose copy properties come over here where you want to paste that property and then choose to paste properties do the same thing with this one. Okay, now what this is going to do is that this is going to allow you to manipulate each one of the letters without the other letters coming in to bug you. So what we do is that we just grab a hold of it. You got to select it once and then click on it again. So it's, it's a double click action. You can't just click on it once and drag it because then it will do this. Okay, so you got to click and then click on it again in order to drag it over. Okay, so we're going to work with our very first letter, which is our D. So we're going to have our D come in. And then we're going to take our, our ending letter. And we're going to drag it over to here. Because we want it to come in right up in there. So we're going to choose this one. Like I said, everything is a double click in action. You got to click once and then you got to click it again in order to drag it over. Okay, so that would be our first one. We hit our enter key and we run it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is that we're going to come over here and we want our A to start coming in about here. Click and then click it again. And then, oops, click, click it again and then drag it over. We want to have one frame between each one of our keyframes here. Okay, so that it basically looks like so. And then we're going to come over here and grab a hold of our R. And so hit the enter key. And that's what we have. You can select each one of the letters. You can come over and you can do a drop shadow. You can add a drop shadow to it. You can also come over here and add a blur to it. And then you can change how much of a blur that you want. However, I have not found a way to animate this yet. And so I will be working on that, hopefully here soon, to show you how to animate the blurs. Because to have a blur all the time is really annoying. And so I would prefer to have it to where it will show as a blur coming in, and then it goes to plain text. And so we select this one. And then it looks a little bit better than having it as just plain text. Like I said, uh, there's no way to animate it that I am aware of at this moment, which is really, really frustrating. But I will find out and post that in a, another video. This is Wayne Barron with DarkEffects.net inside of the new Adobe Animate CC with lesson number two. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.